Guys, I think I'm overdressed. Right, do you see this woman over here? Hello. This is Teresa. My name is Henry. I've got poop hands. Everyone's dead. Before oh, that- God damn it, my stomach hurts. He, he's, this man has a fiend for food. He doesn't stop eating. Let's eat some bread rolls. Oh yeah, as well. So I'm not really used to the controls. So this is gonna be like, this is gonna be awful. Um, as well, thank you. Thank you, Luke, for gifting to poop hands, McGee. Um, they're a very loyal viewer. Oh, yeah, thank you. Wait, where'd all my food? I've been stockpiling onions. I had like 15 onions and I was trying to flirt with women. And I thought, okay, if I carry like a shitload of onions, they're like, ew, you smell of BR. I'm like, no, it's just all my onions. You want some, my lady? But like, I've lost all my onions. I'm back to zero res. Oh, the fucking Germans did it, didn't they? Activity giver. Get your things from the trunk. Oh my God. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> Where's Teresa? Oh no, she's gonna know I've got a smelly poo bum. Oh no, this is the uncle I owe a bunch of money to. Wait, is he a chef? I'm Henry. Thanks for taking care of me. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? What do you think about what happened? Have you heard anything about the Cummans? Do you know anything about those Cummans? Oh. The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You seem with your own two eyes what so, you're capable of. So, humans are Germans? What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters, but this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. What about the Scalitz folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work, they just idle around, begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. Okay. That's all, let's not thank him. No, I, I've got That's to... That's all. <laughs> no, I just need to thank him, I feel bad. <laughs> I just need to do ourselves. My name's Henry. <laughs> thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two You! Yeah. You're the BFB. <laughs> and talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Oh, God. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you <laughs> still owe him. I see. Goodbye. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. No, I... I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What? What do you say? What does it mean? What do you need from me? Can't I pay instead? Look, as a, as a federal poop, poop hands McGee, I think I should shovel poop. That's just what he does. I want to know about your scam. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. Oh. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's you the execution. Us yesterday. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You could dig, all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Tell me more. Yeah, for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen. It's about this ring my mate, Wojciech, Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. 
whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse and never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? This is so funny for people who watched our last stream because I literally spent a good half an hour. There was like a mountain of corpses and I pillaged every single one of like everything. There was nuts, there was carrots, there was bread. There was so much fucking loot. I went like full loot goblin on these bodies and it, was, it wasn't it was just any bodies, it was like the village. And he's like, how dare you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> so, I can't believe you. I won't rest my I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. <laughs> What's your mouth? There's a Stop. shovel here around the hills. It's literally me. If there's any problem, stealing. come and see me. I love taking things. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. The shovel? I'll need it. A wench on the I'll side? To this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and, uh... Watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean Onion, dogs. enjoy being a social butterfly. Farewell. But the executioner? What well, fun. Don't vex him. Farewell. All right, we're going to go loot some goblins. I was going to loot some... <laughs> What's this? Not ruins game. Uh, loot some... We're going to be a loot goblin towards corpses. But first, I need to flirt with Chorizo. What? Okay, I'm not reading all that, but like, I'm sorry to hear. Congratulations. Have you eaten yet? Are you saying there's more food? Not yet. Well, try to eat something. A big lad like you needs a strength. I don't know anything about men in the 1300s, but I, I just didn't expect them to have haircuts like men have nowadays conventional men who go to the pub and enjoy football fucking blowing my mind <laughs> did they like even have scissors back then like what would you cut your hair with like swords it's not main character hair it's just a regular normal guy that you would Ugh. see on a dating app do you know what i mean not to be rude I just, I, I, I expect his hair to be more, un, yeah, unruly. Like, ice, untamed. <laughs> you know, like maybe like cut a bit of a little, a little dagger. I'm not reading all that. Dude, every time the game gives me a paragraph, I feel like it's mad at me. Like, I feel like I've done something really naughty. He's just a regular guy. And there's like, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Darling, what's wrong? Is it because I smell? Yeah. You won't get any cleaner washing in a trough. That you need a bath? I've not seen a single <coughs> bath. Because this is the thing. If like, say you were really hungry in the 1300s, you would just like knock on someone's door and be like, woo! You have to feed me or a thousand locusts and death to your generations of family. And like, they'll fucking believe you. Oh! Whoa! I'm a harmless ghost. I'm a harmless ghost. I would never. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, I can't go by. <laughs> Like, I can't see anything. Is that where I'm going? Oh my god, I'm very lost. Is it a village? Wait, how do I get in? <laughs> oh fuck. Beaten by a, uh... Oh no, what? What are you doing? Oh, okay, here we go. I found the, found the way in. Wait, what the fuck? Get in, you... What are you, drunk again? Oh yeah, my character's been drunk for like a large portion of this game. Like the whole time when we got invaded and stuff. Ooh, baths. Oh, this is what I need. Do I have to pay money? Or can I just go in? I think I do need a bath. What are you staring at? The baths are for paying guys. Hey! Not idlers with nothing better to do. No, but I'm looking for something around here. Yeah, I'm looking to pay for a bath. <laughs> 
Wait, is he bathing with his clothes on? <sighs> What's going on out there? Oh my god. Who's there? I I, I need a bath. I, I've got poop hands. I've got poop hands. Please. Hey, I will pay good. What do you need? Yeah, I'd be freaked out too. Okay, about Rete. No, about... No, I don't want small talk. I need a bath. What? Right, Take you care. Are you... you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel all day and night? If you can't pay for a bath, what are you gaping at? Wait, are you I fucking work here or what? No, then get God lost. be with you. Do you need anything? There's no greater pleasure than a tub of hot water and your delicate hands on my back. If it's delicate hands you're after, pay for a whore. Come now, I am paying you, am I not? Hey, you there. Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel all day and night? It's the same experience we're having on Red Dead Redemption 2 where both of our characters are really smelly oh, and they keep like getting in like fights and muddy and then like, oh. he needs to have a bath. Okay, are how's life? There? What kind of lord? Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel all day and night? If you can't Conversations are bath, so funny. Yeah. There, this is what your life is. Have you paid? This is a manorial no, town, and our lord not. hasn't got himself tangled Why up in affairs of state. So it's peaceful what here. Are you staring at? That's I literally every conversation. What kind do. of governor is Sir Hanish? Sir Hanish is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know about? if it's just old <laughs> wives' tales, <laughs> but I heard truly they terrible things. I don't think he even works here. He just wishes he does. Do you want to be a bath maiden? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Hey, you there. <laughs> Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed I'm squirrel trying to buy a night? bath. <laughs> you can't pay for a bath. Do I need to ask what him? Maybe. Uh, Maybe like he is the bath owner. Now, then get What's lost. That? He's a townsman. He literally doesn't work here. He's just a joyless fuck. Are you there? Has Are you going happened? To no, I'm just trying to chat. How do I buy a bath in this? Is he envious? What are you Clear off before I call a catch pole. No. Looking for something. Oh my god, I literally just want to pay for a bath. What's going on out there? Okay. This is nice. This is very Geralt. God be with you. Do you need anything? <laughs> Take care. All right, we're just gonna wait for thirteen hours. <laughs> Bath property. Good morning. Before I have no money, I'd like to uh, order something here. So what are you in? What does it mean? In? To have a bath and launder my garments, to heal my wounds, heal my wounds, bath and laundry, to pay for a wench and everything that goes with that? What? I'd like um, a private bath. I don't think I have any money. For two? As you wish. Do you have the coin? That's too much. It's not worth it to you. <laughs> As even... you wish. She hasn't even said how much. She didn't even say. She just knew. Financially recovered. I don't even have the money to financially get destroyed. Um. <laughs> I'd like I, to make use of the. Can I have a bath at least? Can I afford that? And what is it you'd like? Get myself fixed up a bit. <laughs> have a bath and get my clothes washed. But of course. Money first, though. That's too much. <laughs> it's not worth it to me. As you wish. I'm so sorry. We just waited like 13 hours for me to... Oh, I think we're an old mate with a big bummy knocker. Um, you know, he stole my 15 onions and all my gold. <sighs> I'd love to get something to Oh, fuck me. Eat all your stew. I love how there's this, like stew around the ha like around the land anyone can eat it it's very beneficial that chest by the bed had your stuff well <laughs> wait a 
am I naked? <laughs> no, he's got like, wait, what is he wearing? Is it like his, his pajamas? Well, that's good. So you tell me that the, the bomby knocker man didn't think my 15 onions and two dollars was worth stealing. Let's see if we can rob anyone. <laughs> so it's on the other side of the woods. Um, it looks like you go from here -na 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 -na, and then up and down. However, let's go here anyways. Like we may as well explore this. Sweet. Well, I'm going to go suss out here, steal some bread rolls. And then I, I really should get my, um, my clothes and money back. Oh, who are you and where are you going? I'm just the pajama I'm man. Henry. So I'm Henry Poop Hands. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Voyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? I have to tell Sir Radzik what happened to his sword. I'm his blacksmith. I mean, kind of true. I guess we're auto blacksmith since the other one's no more. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now, bugger off. Also, like, yeah, I am dressed in pajamas. I have to tell him what happened to his sword. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at the guard's stats. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Oh. Go ahead. It'll be your skin oh, if God, Sir Radzik no, is no, I'm not dressed on press. Haven't had a bath. Where are my pajamas? This isn't going to go well, but we've committed. What do you want here? What do you want? Great. It's a fucking emu. Forks and axes. All you need to tame Mother Nature. The people. Did I tell you about my wife's lace making? <laughs> no, I didn't know she did that. She only started not long ago. Always in the evenings while there's still a bit of light. She sits down and gets on with it. And she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. Oh, that's so cute. Betty was always good with Everything for the house. Garden You're right and there. field. Anyway, I showed a couple of pieces axes, she made last week to old Tom from Tabor. Get the, the one best I buy right here. And he said right away he'll take them. And how much do I want for them? Well, now. I was surprised myself. But I wasn't sure Betty would even He loves his wife. So, I asked for a high price. Kettles and for water. Said, that's baskets fine. for goods and, and torches for the night. There and then. I have it Just all. Like that. What I heard about him, he's a right skin flint. And what did Betty have? Yeah, Betty. She was well pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. Dark at home. A yeah, that's so true. Like, your fields lie fallow. Right. Once it gets dark outside, you shit out of luck. You've got like a candle, but that's us. Ah, good on you, Betty. That's so cute. He's so proud of Betty. That's cute. Oh, I like that one. The, the moths. Lullaby potion. Well, I don't have any money. I can just steal. Oh, no, I don't think I can. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. What do you mean? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I mean, I look like shit. <laughs> I'm still not quite myself. To be honest, I'm still not Need really a concoction. myself. I'll get on with you. You have a good, strong frame that can take a beating, so be a man. Who can teach me to read? Be a man, get beaten. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. About that debt. About that debt. What? Do I owe you money too? I won't pay anything. No, I won't be paying you anything. <laughs> Is that right? When you're at death's door, you need me. But once you're on your feet, yeah, true. who nursed you back to life? But you'll be back. Mark my words. 
You'll be back when you need something again. And I'll charge you more. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm praying. Chonda. Oh. I'm sorry, but his here? hair is giving it's Australian oh, that's man. That's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalis? You wouldn't believe that's it. That's a dirty the mo. The storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzig would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice, while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You tricked them nicely. Oh. See you later. He, he, he looks like a trading from... Wow. He looks like a trading from Australia. The dogs scare me in there. Oh my god. What's up? Do you need some help? Oh my god, you're so aggressive. I, he dropped his ball. I thought he was going to fucking assault me. Good day to you. Jesus. <laughs> okay, this way. Okay, talk. Go to... Bergstein to see Rad Thug. Okay, so he's this way. Well, I guess he'll be at the top of the... Oh yeah, he'll be over here in the fancy one. Fancy man, top of the hill. Guys, I think I'm overdressed. I'm gonna put on a good impression. Alright, let's find the king. Excuse me, sir, do you know where the king is? God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I need to speak to the king. I want to enroll in the tournament? Yeah, go on. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. What? You'll have to wait a few days until Sir Hanish announces another one. Oh. Come then, and I'll gladly sign you up. I want to I'd enroll. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. You'll have to wait a few days until Sir Hanish announces another one. Is it a toilet? <laughs> the dinner table's right there. <laughs> oh, watch out below. Watch out. I need the toilet, excuse me. It's so crazy that it's like right next to the table though, is what I'm saying. Chat, where's the guy I need to talk to? Excuse me, excuse me. I feel like he's like up here in a tower. He's in the tower part of the castle near where you came from. Thank you. Near the entrance. Thanks, James. Ah, uh, okay. So there's like a staircase up here. Or maybe this way even. Ah. Uh, Oh, am I at the wrong castle? Uh. Oh my god, I real I am. Yo, I was going up here. Oh, he my king is in another castle. Yeah, thank you. Oh, he's got that extra flex. He's got two castles in his village. Sorry, I got lost. Yeah, I came across a much better, nicer, bigger castle. I, I got really confused. Yeah, it was much nicer. But I'm here now. Fucking castle. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, but like, where is the lie? This one sucks. <laughs> That's me, <a> bitch. <laughs> Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I was attacked. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. 
they are feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want? Oh, the one we just farted My father in? made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. <laughs> I forgot I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. <laughs> of course you oh, are, right. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so the bomby knocker man, the mini boss, the bad guy, he did actually steal the sword when Teresa and the army came in. Okay, cool. Because that'd be like so bad if we just forgot it at the, at the windmill with like all our clothes. <laughs> okay, let's go up and talk to him. Okay, yeah, it is this castle. I wasn't sure if he meant like, oh, we're in the other castle, we're having a meal. But anyways, it really smells like farts. Because this guy went and farted everywhere. Like, oh, it was me. <laughs> Imagine pooping. Wait, so this game, apparently they made it as accurate as possible back in the olden days. Do you reckon like when people took a shit, like it was in like a hallway like this? They didn't have bathrooms. They just had hallway poops. Like no curtain, just like raw dog in a poop down a hole, long drop. Because they probably would have used it as a, a defense mechanism. Because I know they would like throw hot oil at people through the, through the hole, but like chemical warfare. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Anyways. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Pooping in the past was such a chore. I got lost a lot in the other castles too. I couldn't find the freaking basements. In the middle of the night. <laughs> in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Is this the right way? Uh, oh. Yes. Your graces. Is he in I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. <laughs> Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? Oh, I might not is. have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish. Why does that guy have Pidgeotto Just here? Just well, you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't Power. lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. When was the last time he made a proper gravy? Who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. They were worried about him. So yeah. Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. You didn't have but to. You have to, you have to, Radzik. 
Your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. <laughs> if you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate yeah, their grave. Yeah, do that. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. Kingdom come deliver. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and the dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But well, you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Yes, I will be so good at that. Service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, puts Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Squire? Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Yes. So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. That was great. It felt like a genuine conversation. It was very natural. Wow, this was so good. So we're gonna become a squire. I like that they're actually being reasonable. Yeah, that's a, a really good point too. And as well, like I do agree with them about them being worried they didn't want him to go back and bury his family um i guess the whole like purgatory christian burial i guess because i'm not religious so 
I like it. He felt very strongly about saving his family. Wow. And burying them. But I, I, I fully understood why everyone didn't want him to go back because he was likely to die. Yeah, they're all very reasonable. Very rational. They had like good banter between them. That's a very nice horse. Oh my god. Rad, Rad Zig's horse. You wish you had that hair care routine. Look at that. Okay, so I really need to go get my stuff. Oh yeah, we can go to the bathhouse. Wait, is this all my shit? Oh my god, yeah. Wait, is it? Yeah, I think this is my... Yeah, this is all the stuff I... It was a loot goblin. You know how earlier he was being really judgy about the guy looting dead people? All of this is from dead people. Oh, equipped E. What is this? I look like a guy from Melbourne in winter. Reading. Able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages and a common blacksmith's son certainly couldn't have been literate. To understand written text, you have to find someone who can teach you to read. Hey, Teresa, do you like to read? Look at you, lover boy. Fancy a little walk. What are you up to? You call me lover boy. How would you like to, um, I don't know, a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. You just call me lover boy. <laughs> What's that mean? So like when English women call you, hello, darling. Hello, love. Doesn't mean you're their love. They're just being nice. I'd like to know when you'd like to go for a walk. I'd like to know... That's all. That's all. In dialogue. I'm getting very mixed messages from him. Hello, Bernard's top of the morning to ya. Teach me how to fight. I'll be with you. Basic training. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy, Sir Ratzik said. I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy. Miguel. For me to decide. Right now, a boy is exactly what you see. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine. We'll try something more advanced. Farewell. <laughs> All right. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Ow. Ow. I forgot how to block. I think it's curing. See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. <laughs> He's actually going to kill me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> they don't want to up their heads. <laughs> you dirty pig! This is disgusting! <laughs> Onions and cheese. I swear, I don't even poop my Fine. pants. That's enough. Let my work cut out. Yeah, you better run. Right, I'm gonna put it in your helmet Let's and try put it on your head. No. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. Oh yeah. That's your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up. Do an uppercut. If my sword is low. Lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. <laughs> Good. All right. Ah, that's it. All right. Right. 
Lesson two, everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Check the teacher. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The <laughs> move knocks the blade aside. Apparently blocked. To fully deflect adversary strikes, use your block. Press no, Q as soon as the strike starts to perform a perfect block. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Okay, so you're going up. So I'm going... Oh, that went up. Too soon again. Oh my god, he's gonna get really annoyed. Try and catch the rhythm. Oh my god. See the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Ow. No, that's not it. <laughs> ah, that's it. Okay, so you're gonna press and hold it? Fuck. Ow. Not bad. I think you gotta press and hold it. It's not right. like Dark Souls where you gotta do it perfectly. You just press and hold it for ages. Right, that's it. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Okay, so this is like parrying. take you seriously the way you hold it not that i know Very anything good. about like swordsmanship but the way he holds good, it above his good. head now let's try it at full speed you probably won't succeed but that's normal at the start you must train let's go let's go let's go <sighs> okay yeah so it doesn't mean it needs to be in the right direction or does it? Wait a while, Henry. Goodbye. Oh, there's a messenger. Dreamer, thank you for the buddies. Yeah, that's a burger. It is disgusting. Oh, I'm not wearing shoes. I was on my way when I noticed that you were entertaining Sir Radzik's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it? Shutting shit. Shit's sh sh talking to me. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery. Look here, you Pidgeotto <laughs> here wearing <laughs> fuck. Get out of my medieval game, you dickhead. Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith. Good day to you, Pidgeotto. Try not to, hurt yourself. Try not to fucking get electric shocked, you loser. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you so are. So I, I can't There's get over the guy's hair step. looking really so normal. Step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Okay. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. How do I dodge? Raise the weapon, jump aside. How do I jump? What do you fucking mean? Oh my god. Dodging move? How? No, that's not Oh my god. <laughs> so I just like I just walk? Alright. <laughs> okay, I think I that was too early. Okay, cool. That's it. Right. <laughs> I'll try it a little quicker. Hello. Try and get Hello, to the Milk. Never take your eyes off your opponent. 
Welcome like in. We're start. learning the rules of swordsmanship. Fuck. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well done. Nice. <laughs> and the last thing for today, a trick. Raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. <laughs> Try it. I have no idea what you just said. Strike, so I, I have, have no idea what you just said. I'm so sorry. Prepare to strike holding, then, then change zone. Uh, that's it. No, not like that. Nice. No. 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 No, not like that. Not like that. No. Again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Woo! Wrong. Oh fuck! I was actually trying that time. That's all good. <laughs> oh, I fucked him up. What? No. Oh, come like on. That. Not like. Not like. That. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, one more. Mm. Yes. Ah, that's it. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. I think the really meme part of this game is how you can talk to people Don't like right you. in their face Brad like this. Wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Oh fuck, archery? Okay. Yeah, it looks like you're just forever leaning in to give him a smooch. Can I ask? It's not a question. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awful. Hmm. Let's see that. Oh, God. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks. Get in position. Yeah, he's not, that man's now, not here to fuck spiders. Oh, ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. You miss. The arrow right. aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, wouldn't you rather you won't try need it shooting at a barn door? He's not even slightly threatened by me. Ha! Well, that was.
was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Savannah. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove oh, himself, then let's try. Kind of standing up for me? Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. What do you do mean? Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. But well, I don't know then how much it is. We'll work it off. Let's get to it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I owe so many people money, but they never specify how much money it is. Oh. Oh. The rules of the game are simple. You shoot seven arrows, the bullseye is worth three points. The muddle rank and the two inside. The first to finish shooting gets an extra three points. Oh, fuck. Okay, so two? The middle, I mean, not the middle, the middle. No. Okay, this is way easier. Did I win? Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. I think I lost. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep uh, the bus. Fuck. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now? Or do you need more reminding? <laughs> Damn. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Where are we going? Oh, sword fight now? Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Now you're dumb for. Gunda. What? What did you say? Oh, fuck him up. Fucking. <laughs> Bring it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so bad at blocking. Did I win? Oh my god, I fucking clapped him. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge. Imagine if I just murdered Despite him. Your limitations. Thank you, sir. God yeah, by the way, I, I wear the scarf better. Don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. So the sword fighting is pretty fun. I quite like the sword fighting. Um, I did not parry a single one, but I had a good time. So, okay, now we need to talk to Bernard. Mm. You better hope his lordship has Oh, he has. This man is insecure. I hope he has. I hope he has. <laughs> Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. I want to go to the bathhouse. Well, thanks for watching and a special thank you to all my YouTube members. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And here's the full playlist of the series you're watching so far. All my other content is linked below if you'd like to check out.